Capricorn. Da da da. This is your bonus reading for September because I can't sing or whatnot. Anyway, how you doing, my fellow Capricorns? I missed you so much. Anyway, this is bonus Thunderdome reading. So this is for you and a person you possibly are dealing with. Hope you all are doing well today. Capricorns, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it, for it is just a card game. Won't work if you don't believe in it. Just boop your nose and uh, hope for the fucking best, you know? If you want a personal read, all the information is down in the description box, my Facebook, email, and Instagram. First reading is free on the house, of course. Everything else comes with the price, and I do accept tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance. Capricorns, let's see what's going on with us. Hopefully I'm not in something fucked up, because that always seems to happen. Usually when I read for you guys, it's like, oh, well, that's not me, and then a week later it fucking happens, and it's just like, god damn it. Why? Group one! And there's gonna be a group two, so, you know. But group one, you guys have... Prince of Cups, reverse. That's your energy. You're not offering your love or any of that shit. Mmm. Sorry, right, take a sip of water. Uh, the situation right now is communication. Star. Your wants and wishes, two of swords. You make a decision. Okay, so communication or reaching out is available. But you need to make a choice between, like, not offering your love, which is what you're doing right now. Ah, yeah, that's the obstacle. Someone poured their cup all over someone's head and be like, I will not marry you! Or something, right? Group one. Mind you, cross watch your switch where you need to. If it sounds like I'm talking about you in a nasty way, I have no idea. I'm just the messenger after all. Right? right. And wasting time is the other option for this clearing. Group one. Not offering your cup or wasting your fucking time on shit. Losing valuable fundage and shit. You know, money's a currency and all, but, like, if you're just gonna uh, throw it around like it ain't nothing, then, you know. Eh. What started this shit, how it'll end? Prince of Wands. Leo, Sag, Aries. Booty card man taking some passionate action to get something started. Beginning theme, the King of Swords. Someone standing in their power and in their truth. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. That's the wrong deck, goddammit. Every time, I swear, I always pick up the wrong one just because it's the closest one. Anyway, let us see. Ah, okay, that's not good. All right, group one, you might be a little bit kerflunkled because that just happened with my cards. Usually that happens sometimes, but anyway. Let's see, group one, you're not offering your cup. And the obstacle and challenge for you is not offering the cup or not accepting any sort of love because there's a fear and rejection that it's just a waste of your fucking time. Now, you got a choice to communicate or to take some action somewhere as well. Those are, like, really what's going on with you right now. You're just kind of torn between which one you want to do. You want to communicate or you want to go get some booty? Like, that's your options right now. That's not much, that's, that's really not much options. Can't you just do both? Can you communicate and then get booty? Because that like that that seems like it would work out just well, or at least would work out in some fashion. But I don't know. That's just me. Anyway, group one, this prince of coins right here. They want to come out of the complexity, concerned, they're confused. Um, they want to take flight with their discipline and devotion. Probably go to that um, sign right here. This is what you're feeling. You're just like I don't want to offer my cup. I just want to. Get out of this scenario and stop worrying about shit. I want to move the right way. It could be Leo Sag Aries once again. I feel like someone's really scared of opening up, too. Speaking of opening up, the star right here it could be Aquarius, right? Someone wants to communicate about some wrong idea or some mindset that they have that's no longer as powerful or dynamic as they used to have and how they still want to preserve and endure whatever it is that they're dealing with or maybe somebody should communicate because they have the wrong idea about shit but they're just 
holding that shit up, just being like, no, I, I like, I got this, and it's just like, are you sure? Hey, sexy. At least that's what it feels like, anyway. Let's see. Two of Wands. Someone needs to make a decision because they feel trapped and confined in a situation where they just don't have any love between them and the other person with the Two of Cups reversed. A partnership's kind of failing, but they feel stuck in it. Um, the obstacle and challenge is um, this lack of love where it feels like there's a lot of distance between the two of you, group one. And a wish and desire. Hmm. Like, there's no love here, and there's still distance and desire, but... I don't know. Like, what's the point of, like... Hmm. It's like someone has the choice of either staying stuck or getting out of a relationship. And the obstacle and challenge is that it's like, um... They don't have any love here, but there's still a wish and desire and distance right here. It's like someone wants to be in this connection, but it's like, it, it's growing. It's like expanding. Hmm. The hanged man reverse. Someone is afraid or rejecting the idea that they are wasting time, losing valuables from it. They want to come out of the daze and confusion of all of this. Ooh, two more cards. But unfortunately, it feels like they're not recovering and they're not getting anywhere with their coinage either. Or they feel like they wouldn't be able to recover from the loss of coin or some shit. Kind of shallow, but it's whatever. Prince of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, right? Wanting to take passion and action. This is how it started. This is how it'll end and come full circle, right? Um, they want to move on from the past. They're tired of dealing with their PTSD shit or whatever because it does not make them happy anymore. All right, King of Swords. What's the ending thing? There's a magician. There's something he wants to manifest, and it's the ability to say whatever he wants to say, Capricorns. Like, he's got some truth, but he also knows that, like, he's got to not be emotional with, or not, well, not not be emotional, because he's not reversed, but it's more along the lines of, he's got to say it in a smart way that won't spur emotions, I think. So, group one, you got some shit. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Group one. Yeah, you feel... Oh, I know. I feel like this is the dream that isn't working out for you. You're not happy. That's Leo's card once again. The Wheel of Fate's turning, but you still feel like there's a lot of injustice going on around you and the world's just not coming together the way it should. Uh, there's a lot of secrets that might just come out... Someone needs to come out of their isolated state and actually express what they know in order to get the shit off of their brain or whatever. And, you know, understand that they're really not as trapped as they believe that they are, that it's all in their head. You know? Uh, could be a lot of, like, quarreling, but it's all for show with the Five of Wands. Uh, could be a... Cap yeah, there's Capricorn. Someone feels like they might be in a... Like a competition with the cap? Cap? I don't know what for. Wait, whatever. Um. Oh. Third party situation? It's like someone battled their way out of, like, a situation where someone was holding their heart so hostage by getting in a third party situation that'll lead to a breakup. I don't know if that's a good idea, Group 1. I, think, I don't know. I have no idea. That doesn't sound very bright, you know. But, you know, you feel like you got the right idea with the Hierophant. Like, you've been there studying all this time. You're just not saying anything about it or ignoring your intuition with the High Priestess. Um, because you really want to separate from your lover, I feel like, and reach out somewhere else once again with the star, possibly Aquarius. You want to put your money in somewhere, but it's like, if you do that, it's not going to lead to anything that's going to release you any quicker. It's like, it's just going to keep, it's like, it doesn't release the bind or whatever, right? It's still the Ten of Swords, but it's bound up now. But that's what I got for you, group one. So, group two. 
Might have Capricorn in here. I mean, I don't know. It's that, like, hmm. Caps, yours is just as fucking weird as Cancer's bonus. I'm just letting y'all know. Y'all are fucking weirdos. All of you. But I still love you. Mwah. Stay in school. <laughs> okay, let's see. So, group two, we're going to see what's going on with your side, right? Let's see. Group two. What's going on on yours? You're wanting to come back in from the cold after being out there for so long. And you want to get your head straight in this situation. You're finally coming out of the shit that's, like, been keeping you trapped for a while. It's like you're waking up from something or whatever, right? Now, you have the hangman upright. Like, you're at a crossroads, or you want to be at a crossroads to figure things out. Unfortunately, your obstacle and challenge against you is having a bad mentality or the wrong idea about some shit, right? Um, your fears or rejections are maybe there's something that you manifested. Group 1 had that, and it's like they want to manifest a separation or a breakup or some shit. Hmm. What starts this shit, and how does it end? Oh, there you are, Capricorn. You might not be offering shit up because you don't know what the fuck's up. Uh, like, there's someone you cherish because you're rejecting that over here, but you're not moving forward because there's something you don't know. Like, something that you're confused about is keeping you from going over here in order to get your head straight or whatever. What is your beginning theme, please? A group two. Someone's a little sneak steer and doing devious shit. Mm. Um, deception. I mean, it's not like there's anything entirely inherently wrong with the Seven of Swords either. It's not always deception. It's just someone's being strategic, sneaky, um, up to shit. And I don't like how Group Ones went, you know? That was awkward. Anyway. You're feeling left out of, in the cold and you want to come back in, but the problem is you have no idea how to do that. And you're afraid that this is something you could have manifested group to. You want out of this terrible headspace and you do feel like you were at a crossroads, but you don't know what you're offering or you don't know where to go to take this pentacle you were offering up, right? This five of pentacles scenario, you want to come back in from the goal and you are preserving, you are enduring what you need to do in order to do that. But there isn't going to be a new beginning no matter how much you um, try to hold out. We got the eight of swords, that, yeah, eight of swords down here, where you want to get out of this headspace that's terrible for you. It's got you under some lunacies and delusions with the moon. That's causing you to feel like you're at a standstill. Like, you, may, you might not be in a sarcophagus. You might not even realize it. The hanged man right here. It, okay, so none of this is ringing true for me, so it's probably going to in like a week or two. So that's lovely. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. The hanged man. Someone is at a crossroads. Once again, because of the five of cups, that distance. With the Empress right here. Someone could feel that shit while they're laying on the couch like, yeah, this is gonna happen. This is gonna happen. It's happening, dude. It's happening, Captain. However, the obstacle and challenge with the Ace of Swords. Someone has the wrong idea about something. Not sending a message or expressing themselves with the Page of Coin. And, okay, both of these kitty cats are running in two completely different directions, but right, well, one's a fox, but still, right in two completely separate directions. Someone doesn't know what choice they should be taking. Like, they're running away from getting out of this bad headspace, but they're really not delivering a message when it comes to it either. They're not expressing their ideas or reality. It's like, um, they just don't know how to do it. Now... Ten of Swords just came up right before I was going to talk. The Magician or the Starman. Someone's afraid or rejecting the idea that they manifested something. And that's the wrong idea. You did. You did. You did. <laughs> and that's why there's a lack of communication. It doesn't feel like heaven. You know. 
Um, someone's a little bit tormented because they want things their way or something. It's like Ten of Wands and then like this King of Swords. It's like this person who wants mastery, domination is going a little bit too far. Um, making things a little bit harder for everybody by making burdens and shit out of nothing. Or they just like, I don't know, imagine shit, I guess. It could be either or, really. Mm. Sorry, my leg's itching terribly. It's been a very dry fucking summer, and I don't know why. I figured I itch more in the winter, but it's just the heat, I guess. Anyway, Capricorns, this could be you down here. You might not be giving something to somebody. I don't know. I, look, this could be a relationship between people who are in love, but it's like, it doesn't feel that way. It's like something else. I mean, if there was love, like, I don't know. You got three. Um, you're pretty lost in the sauce when it comes to what options to take. There's still a mystery. You're still looking for a reason to stay because you don't want to feel left out in the cold anymore. You're tired of being out there, feeling like you're by yourself, I guess. I mean, like, in this deck with the Five of Pentacles right here, there's two people there, but only one of them is, like, really suffering. The other one still is just expecting the one who's suffering to do a bunch of work. Like, hey, will you get me an ice cream cone? Donna, we're broke. How am I supposed to get you ice cream? I don't know. Like, it's, it's like this person doesn't let up. Grip two. And that's why it feels like... You're... I'm not sure. It's like there's two people here. One doesn't see that one suffering, and the other one's suffering too much to realize that um, the other person doesn't really take what they're doing or saying into consideration. It's like they don't pay attention enough to their feelings in order to understand what the fuck is up. Hmm. It's like someone's... It's almost like someone's dealing with grief a little bit, but not really. It's more like um, some other shit. I'm not sure what that is, though. So, I'm not that nosy of a bitch, after I mean, I could be, but I'm not. <laughs> I mean, well, I don't know. I definitely could be. Anyway, um, Seven of Swords. What is the ending theme with this beginning theme? You got the magician, too. So, group one wants the ability to manifest what they want to talk about. And group two, you want to manifest being able to get away with shit? What? Or get away with sneaking away with all of your shit? What? This is crazy. So, Capricorn, whoever you're dealing with, you both were on the same page about getting away from each other, but neither one of you were really talking, so... It's like you kind of both surprise each other? With your behaviors, your actions, whatever it is, I don't know. That's crazy tasty, man. Let's see. What's up with you, group two? You're willing to put in the work to create balance or invest in this shit, but it's like there's a lot of spilt milk in this and no one's cleaned it up, so you're just kind of staring at it after three months and started growing shit in your coffee cup or bathroom or whatever, right? Still feeling like you're wrapped up in the torrents of torture with the ten of swords. It feels like nothing's moving right here. You're mentally drained and bothered, but there's no action being taken. Um, and the tower isn't coming through? You're, you're looking for a reason to go away. And you're thinking third party situation leading to a breakup. Okay. Group two, group one had this exact same almost layout right here. Right? Yeah. Almost the exact same fucking thing. It's like... Capricorns and Crosswatchers, it's like if you both had the opportunity to cheat on each other or just betray each other, you both would do it. And I feel like one would tell the other one first. I feel like group one would be the one to tell, hey, I might have done something with somebody, and but that leaves them in a um, bind because it's something that they really didn't mean or want to do. Where I hear it's like group two, you're kind of going that way in order to cause the breakup, which is really crazy. 
Yeah. Knight of Swords, ready to argue and fight that shit, right? But that's like a waste of fucking time. Now, oh, there's the Emperor. Is the King, is, is that bastard out here? I don't see him. Okay, so we're good. Wait, yeah. Dickhead is not out here. So someone is trying to keep control of themselves. Could be Aries or Leo. Uh, holding control, but they feel burdened by what it is they're controlling. They're unable to really come to some, any, some sort of decision in order to get themselves out of this crazy headspace, right? They want to let their guard down and actually take a leap of faith with this person. But that calls from some really sneaky strategizing and such, right? And that doesn't seem like it works. It doesn't seem like it works at all. In fact, they might get caught up. And then a judgment call is called in to resurrect something or whatever. To release oneself from the devil's grasp. One more card after this. They feel like they're trying to fight for something they're not going to get a victory in. And then it's like someone comes in to fuck with their family and uh, screw with their web. Someone feels like they need to defend themselves from a from an invader or some shit. Or someone comes in with wrong intentions. But it's like the web here is um fucked up. Like there's something here that someone was going to work on that just did not work for them. Or whatever safety net they try to create it, like this little spider. Um, the bitch was drunk or someone blew cigarette smoke on her long enough to where like she was just all fucked up. And now the and now it looks like Charlotte's web, except she can't spell. And there's no spell check on webs, right? Or I don't know. It's like someone loses connections or some shit here, right? Hmm. I'll tell you one thing, Caps, if, like, I don't know, if someone was trying to steal my man, i just let him have him, you know? I mean, like, if someone w wants to cheat on me, like, I have no right to ask um, for them to stick around with me, but if they're that disloyal, you know, like, there's no point in even keeping somebody around, like, shake that bitch's hand and tell her thank you for helping you find someone in the future who will be more faithful and, you know justifiably honest with you, I feel like, you know. But the thing is, it's like you're both kind of doing it, so it's just... It's like neither of you two are even talking about it, so it's like... I don't know. It's like, hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil, kind of shit. But, that's your reading Capricorns. So, if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, no pressure, of course. It's just up to you, but I will see you guys later. Mwah. Love you. Bye-bye.